Hello guys, this is a Fox Trot 5 November Papa Victor and just uh, going to present you the my new uh, little project. This is a FT8 QRP transceiver based on the Arduino on the CD2003 uh, uh, for the receiving uh, chip. So I'm done mostly with the all the integration on all the, the development regarding uh, the sketch, the, the firmware, on the hardware. So just to present you quickly the hardware. So the hardware, this is the main board here for receive and transmit. So there is a uh, three chips. We can say four chips. Huh? The Arduino, uh, the CD2003, the 74HC02 for the transmit path. And of course here the uh, Sierra India 5351 uh, DDS uh, to provide you the clock zero on the clock one for the for the transceiver. So here this is the LPF for transmit and receive. I will use for both. I tell her the LPF for both uh, capability trans transmit and receive. So currently for this demo the there is a sequencer here for transmit and receive to switch between transmit and receive driven by the Arduino. Here, this is the screen. So don't pay attention about the temperature. I need to calibrate the LM35 uh, uh, chips. So it's more <laughs> hotter than that. It's about 20 degrees here in the shack. So pretty much this is uh, quite uh, straightforward, working perfectly for receive and transmit. So here there is a, I implement, you, you will see on my website, a uh, tiny resistor to adjust the uh, audio level for the receive. Here there is a push button in order to, if you can have a look, I push the button to switch between the different frequency. Here, this is the LED and so on. You can have some uh, display also in the front panel or not. It's up to you. Currently, the capability of this transceiver you can use with the with the LCD or not. It's up to you because you have the LED here in the front panel. Or you, I will add also, it's not implemented yet, uh, LED for TX and RX. Here, the LCD will provide you all the information you need the LPF bank you are using, temperature for the final amplifier, frequency on TX on RX stage. So this is pretty much straight, straightforward. Here this is, I am on receive. What is the frequency? This is a 20 meters band. Here, this is a, the receiver quality is not so bad. Just previously, I can receive. I, I can still receive some Japanese station. I receive uh, quite a lot of uh, <coughs> different stations. So I'm going to switch from the switch button to other frequency. Uh, 80 meters, sorry, is too late. It's not really good. So I am on the 40 meters band here. So, you can receive the signal. So, here. So, I'm done. P pretty much, I'm done with all this transceiver. I need not to put in the, in the casing. So, currently, I'm not using the CAT, the CAT control. But you can also use the CAT. It's up to you. In fact, according with uh, the sketch, the firmware and the hardware, you can use as you want. With and without CAT with and without LCD. It's up to you. You don't need CAT, you don't need LCD. It can be a pure standalone uh, transceiver on that side. Currently, the output power with uh, the power amplifier, I am uh, almost at 3 watts, so it's not so bad. So I'm just going to show you a demo for the transmit, the quality I am on demi-load. Huh? So I'm, I'm using my old uh, Kenwood uh, for to monitor the the signal quality. So yeah, just wait a bit. It's going to to transmit. So you see, and uh, the 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 waterfall is quite sharp. So you can hear. Okay, the the quality is not so bad. Is 
pretty much good. I did uh, some measurement on uh, with my uh, uh, virtual network uh, uh, analyzer. On uh, yeah, pretty much the signal is very sharp. It's very clean. The IMD on the spectrum or on the carrier is pretty much clean. It's really really clean. So I'm done with this uh, trans transceiver I will shoot a demo when I will uh, let on when everything will be in the casing and uh, that's it so that's all for today have a great weekend and uh, enjoy your arm radio activity this is Foxtrot 5 November Papa Victor on QRT 73 guys bye bye